of course it will depend on which cities we're talking about. Um, I think that we will see uh, variations between different parts of the world and different parts of the United States. I would, my prognosis is that the biggest game changer in the future of cities by 2050 will be the technology at the moment which is rapidly erupting uh, in connectivity. Um, you know, it often, it often occurs to me that a lot of the travel that we do in our current environment is not travel that we really want to do. It's because we work somewhere distant from where we live. And I would like to think that in the cities in 2050, generally each area of a, a large city will become more community-based. So there will be a lot more options for people not to have to move around in the first place. So rather than commute 20 or 30 miles across a big city, we'll have the opportunity to do a lot of our work, maybe not all of it, but a lot of our work quite close to where we live. Uh, that we need to get away from the idea that we live in large dormitory areas and then we have all of our work and industry and uh, office space in another area. Uh, there are plenty of good examples of how you can uh, mix, uh, mix the zones up and still make a very livable and enjoyable uh, environment for people to live in. So rather than a commute being uh, a couple of hours out of every day, uh, maybe a commute means just a couple of minutes. Ooh, that's more difficult to uh, that's more difficult to say. I think if the human race is still around in a hundred years, uh, it means that we have um, we've been hung very much over the edge of the cliff, and we ha will have got good at a lot of things. I think uh, I think uh, even maybe by 2050, uh, I mentioned it a little before we will probably be uh, moving goods a lot less than food. We will be needing to grow a lot of the food and, uh, and the goods that we consume. Uh, we need to produce that much more locally to where we live rather than divorcing it from the cities. We need to become more integrated and the same with work. Uh, I think that we'll be far more community based. In some ways it will require us to, to go backwards a little. Maybe we'll be living in smaller but at the same time much more desirable living spaces. Uh, we will, I mean it, it's just, it's so difficult to predict what technologies we'll have available in, um, in 90 years time. It's difficult enough in 50 years time but, so it's really difficult to say. So if we've got cities in 2100 uh, makes me very optimistic that we'll be still around. We'll be, if we're still around, it means we've figured out how to do a lot of things much better than we're doing now.